Are you thinking about moving to Scottsdale, Arizona? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about the pros and the cons of living in Scottsdale, Arizona. We're gonna give you all of the information that way you can make the best decision possible about making your move to Scottsdale. And we're gonna get after it right now. Well, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in Phoenix, Arizona and the surrounding cities, just like Scottsdale, then go ahead and tap that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you could be the first ones to know about the current market here in Phoenix. Hi guys, my name is Mark Melendez. I'm a real estate professional here in Phoenix, Arizona. And if you're thinking about making a move to the Phoenix area, then let's chat. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email or schedule a Zoom call with me. All of my information is in the description below. Well, just like I said in the intro, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of living in Scottsdale. So let's jump right into the topic. Okay, so let's talk about the negative first. All right, so we're going to talk about the cons. First up is the heat. It's extremely hot in Phoenix, Arizona. In fact, the hottest day on record was 122 degrees back in June of 1990. In the summer of 2020, there was a record 34 days of 110 plus degree heat. So the heat can be absolutely excruciating and very miserable. The only thing to do in the summer really is to stay indoors. Number two on that list, let's talk about the water. So the Southwest region of the United States is in a mega drought. Water levels at Lake Mead and at Lake Powell are very low. Some experts say it's gonna take about 10 plus years of above average snowfall in the high regions just to replenish those lake reservoirs. Also, the water quality is very poor. A lot of homes need to put in water softeners since the water is so hard. What ends up happening when you have hard water, it dries your skin out. So the water here in Arizona is drinkable, but the quality is pretty Poor. So number three on the list is traffic. Traffic in the Scottsdale area and the Phoenix area is pretty bad. Now we do have highways. We have the I-10, we have the I-17. We have a few different other Arizona highways like the Loop 101, Loop 202, Loop 303, but there's a lot of traffic on the roads. Not only that, the quality of the roads are pretty poor. It seems like they're always doing construction on one of those highways. Number four on that list is drivers. The drivers in the Phoenix area are terrible. Scottsdale and Phoenix is such a melting pot. We get so many drivers from all over the United States. They all bring their own form of driving with them, which pretty makes a pretty bad situation. If you find yourself going the speed limit in the fast lane, you're sure to be honked at or get tailgated by someone and passed on a regular basis. So the drivers are pretty bad here in Scottsdale and Phoenix, Arizona. Next up on the list is the pests and the critters. We live in a desert. We have desert insects like scorpions, black widows, wolf spiders, those things just to name a few. The scorpions really scare the heck out of people, especially if they're not used to seeing them. Other animals that can be a, a nuisance to you would be the javelinas. In essence, a javelina is just basically a desert boar. A lot of times they come up to your property, they eat your grass, they eat your uh, flowers, they eat your crops if you're growing anything. And just right above that, we have coyotes and bobcats. So a lot of times you would need to protect your pets if you're going to keep them outdoors. Now, this is more or less a problem on the outskirts of town, closer to the mountain areas, but it is a problem. We must share our habitat with them because it's their habitat as well. So next on that list is the housing costs. Housing costs in Scottsdale are a little bit on the higher side making it a little bit unaffordable for those first time home buyers. So housing costs can be a huge problem, especially if you're a first time buyer with the minimum down payment. Next on the list is snowbirds. We love winter visitors here in Arizona. We get so many of them. During our winter seasons, you're gonna see a big influx of people coming into the Scottsdale area. That puts more drivers on the road and more pressure on the housing economy. Next up on that list is going to be the monsoon storms. Now during the summer months we get what is called the monsoon storm. Basically summer rains which is much needed because we are in a 
dry climate. But with those rains come these huge dust storms. Now these dust storms can cause all kinds of havoc, not only just on dusting up your cars and your homes, but if it could be a problem if you breathe too much of the dust that's in the air. Now this is only isolated during the monsoon season of the summertime, but yes, something that you should be aware of. Next thing that we should talk about are the party goers. Now there's so much nightlife in Scottsdale, there's so many things to do that we get an influx of party goers from the surrounding cities and even from out of state. Now this could be a good thing or this can be a bad thing. Usually what it does is just brings in more people that are getting intoxicated and then that could lead to different problems. And lastly, I want to talk about is the crime in Scottsdale. Now, Scottsdale is technically a very safe place to live, but just like all cities, you're going to have small pockets of areas that are going to be higher in crime. If you're going to be moving to Scottsdale, Arizona, just make sure to do your research before to find out which areas have a higher crime rate than others. But I don't want to alarm you too much because I consider Scottsdale a very safe place to live. Now let's talk about the pros of living in Scottsdale. The number one pro of living in Scottsdale is the weather. Yes, I know what you're thinking. You just said that your number one con was the weather also. Well, guess what? Six months out of the year, we have absolutely paradise here in Scottsdale. That's the number one reason why we have so many people that come to Scottsdale during our winter times. Our beautiful winters bring in so many winter visitors that are trying to escape the snowy areas that they live in. So the weather is absolutely amazing six months out of the year. Number two on the list I wanna talk about is the job market here in the Scottsdale area. In fact, Phoenix is just a booming economy. It's been booming for years. There's so many great employers here in the Phoenix area, and it's something that a lot of Scottsdale residents benefit from. So there's an abundance of jobs here in Scottsdale. Next on the list are the schools. We have amazing schools in Scottsdale. Most of the schools in Scottsdale are very highly rated here in Arizona. And it's something that if you have children and you live in Scottsdale, they will benefit from it. Next on the list is nightlife. If you like to get out on the weekends, if you like to go and have some fun, go dancing, go visit bars, go do some entertainment, taking the taking a movie, taking a concert. There's so much things to do. There's always something to do. There's always something to go. There's not a shortage of things to do. Nightlife entertainment is super high on that list. Next on that list is the property taxes. Property taxes in Scottsdale are some of the lower property taxes in the United States. They're not the lowest, but they're definitely going to be in that top category or top tier of low taxes. Folks moving from other states that have higher property taxes love the fact that our taxes are lower here in Scottsdale. Next on the list kind of goes hand in hand with the property taxes, which is the housing. There's so many great communities to live in Scottsdale. Scottsdale is one of the best cities to live in in the entire United States. You can find houses that are in great communities at the mid-level and at the higher level. So there's a great amount of housing in Scottsdale. Next on the list is golf. If you're a golf fan, there's so many golf courses in Scottsdale. Most of those golf courses are on the upper echelon or on a higher tier of golf courses. We have amazing events just like the PGA Tour that comes here in Scottsdale, plays at one of the best courses that we have here in Arizona, and you can play in those courses as well. The next thing is the outdoor activities. If you're someone that likes to get up and move around, well, you can do a lot of that here in Scottsdale. You have access to so many hiking trails, so many walking trails, biking trails, parks, so much different outdoor activities that you can take advantage of right here in Scottsdale. Next thing we should talk about are the hospitals in Scottsdale. Scottsdale has some of the highest rated hospitals in the country. We have two Mayo Clinic locations right here in Scottsdale. One's in Scottsdale, one is just right on the border of Scottsdale. Not only that, you have other hospital systems like Honor Health here that provide great top-notch healthcare. So there's some amazing hospitals here in Scottsdale. And finally, if you're a Scottsdale resident, you can take advantage of a local 
local staycation. There's so many different resorts and spas here in Scottsdale. And during the summer months, when the rates are lower, that's a fantastic time. And that's when a lot of my fellow Arizona residents love to take advantage of the staycation. So the hotels and resorts aren't just for the travelers from out of state. We can take advantage of them here as well as Arizona residents. Well, overall, Scottsdale is an amazing place to live in and it's always regarded as the top or in the top two as far as the best cities to live in in the Phoenix area. So I hope this information helps you in making your decision to move to Scottsdale, Arizona. Thanks for watching the video, guys. And if you found some value in the video, then go ahead and smash that like button. Don't forget to tap the subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. That way you can stay up to date on all the current videos that I have coming out about the Phoenix area. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate your time so much. Have an amazing day.